Welcome back, Smile Jammers. And joining us this morning is Gina White, a model who's now switched hats to become an entrepreneur. She's investing into the land of her birth, sweet, sweet Jamaica. So good morning and welcome, Gina. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here on Smile. Um, as, I, as I've introduced you to our audience as a model, tell me a little bit about that career and what life was like for you as a model. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, not very long, but um, I grew up in New York after we left um, Jamaica and then uh, full-blown right out of high school, 18, I was modeling. I was signed to Bella Agency and Fusion Models. So more of a commercial model, not a runway model. Mm -hmm. Did that for a few years during the daytime. And then at night, I was in hospitality, bartending, waitressing. I kind of fell in love with that aspect and always had a dream and move back home mm -hmm. and do something in that field. And I'm finally just living that out now. All right. Well, before we get back home, I, I mean, commercial modeling is still huge. And Bella, to be signed to Bella is huge as well. What, what would have been some of your biggest clients or campaigns that you've worked on? Uh, I, I worked with Land's End. I worked with American Apparel. I, I, I feel like I just did a little small jobs here and there, you know. Um, right. Very competitive field. Very, very competitive, especially back then, way before social media. Yeah. Which has taken it into a whole different um, realm. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. There was a time you moved from New York to Hawaii. I did. I okay. So I moved from New York. I traveled all over the world for a bit. Um, I had my first daughter, and we lived in Indonesia for a little bit as well. And then after that, we moved to Hawaii, where we spent the last seven years of our lives. And then I was like, um, right out of the pandemic, I'm like this is it. Now or never. I'm moving back home. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm always intrigued when I hear Jama Jamaicans are all over the world. By the way. Um, all, over. I, all over the world. And when I hear they're living here, they're, I'm like, how did you end up there? Like, you just said you were in Indonesia, and then you moved from Indonesia to Hawaii. What, the what world moved you? is such a big place. There's so much to see. There's so much. I, I encourage everyone to get your passport, visa, travel the world. There's so much to see. But at the end of the day, home was always crying out to me, like, this is where I want to be. This mm -hmm. is my domain. And yeah. yeah. Well, you're a trained mixologist and you're back home doing exactly what what you love and what you've trained in. Um, so now you're here in Jamaica. Tell me, and, and I know, okay, it's the land of my birth and I want to be back, but 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 what was that thing that said, I'm, I'm going back, I'm not just going back, I'm going to do business in Jamaica? This is this this is a place that birthed me. This is where I want to put my money for my business. This is where I want to raise my kids. Um, Ever since I left, I mean, I've lived in so many different places, but nothing ever really felt like home. Um, never really felt like anywhere I want to prosper, grow the roots, um, build that generational wealth for my, my, my daughters. Um, and I just wasn't ready to make that move anywhere else but here. Mm -hmm. I came here, I did extensive research. Um, just felt right. Just felt like the time. All right. And so you're here in Jamaica and you're opening Rama's a Bar and Rama's Griff. Yes, yeah. rum is bar and grill. You know, we in Jamaica, we love rum. Uh -huh. we, rum is extensive throughout the entire world. I really would love to bring in um, rum from all over the world. Um, just be the full-blown rum bar on the West End, um, prime. The grill is just like the, the most amazing place for me beyond playing tourist, um, living there, thriving there, having a business there. It's just the best beach town ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's going to be different about your, your uh, uh, what I want to find out is, so your world experience, uh, trained in New York, modeling all over the world, traveling all over the world. I, I, now you're in Jamaica. How does that impact, uh, your, your establishment? When I come to Rama's, what am I going to see that I'm going to say, oh yeah, this is nice. This is cool. This is eclectic. So Rama's gives me that Rasta chic aesthetic. Mm -hmm. In terms of um, when we associate, when outsiders associate Jamaica, they think of Rasta, smoking, blah blah blah. Right. But um, I would like to bring that new element of just modern Rasta, and you can come. Um, we cater to everyone. It's inclusive. The prices are matched for everyone. Um, anyone can walk into Ramas and be able to afford something. And 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's more... All right, Gina, it was so it's cool. It's hard to talk about my full dream because I've, I've just been absorbing this for, for years. For a long time. Uh, now I'm finally living it. So yes. just talking about it just makes me really emotional. So I'm, I'm just happy to be here, be in Jamaica. The vibes are always there. Yeah. Rum is Great. My, my baby. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, I encourage everyone, head on down to the grill. And when you go down, just check out Gina at Roma's Bar and Grill. Of course, she's on IG, so you can find out some more about that. Thank you, Gina, for checking in with Thank us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Gina White, owner of Roma's Bar and Grill. After the break, we're going to talk style.